Awesome. Again, we are just so excited that you guys are actually joining us. Hey, again, my name is Lamar Tyler. And I'm Ronnie Tyler. And we're here to talk about five easy things you can do to transform your marriage. And the question you see on the screen in front of you, are you living the marriage you dreamed of on your wedding day? Let's, can I just ask them that real quick? Yeah. I want to ask you guys, are you living, and let's be, let's be honest, let's be open and everything right now. Are you living the marriage you dreamed of on your wedding day? Let me see you just type it in the chat. I see a bunch of no's coming in. Nope, nope, no, nope, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Thank you for being honest. I see one yes. I see no, no, no's. I see uh, three or four yeses. I see um, um, most days not. No, we're not. Not really. No, nowhere near. Guess what? Some days, guess what, guys? If you can hear our voices, you are in the right place. Yes. You are exactly where you need to be. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Somebody said it could be better. Somebody said we were until things fell apart. Look, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You're in the right place, in, in the, the right spot, listening to the right words for what you need for your marriage right now. Let me share with you guys. We are so excited and just honored to be here with you on this special training. And we're here to share with you this amazing transformation experience. And in fact, before we're going to share with you something, right, we're going to share something tonight that we haven't done in a very, very long time like me and Ronnie just talked about. We're going to teach you five easy things you can do to transform your marriage and have a better life. Can I add that last part again, Ronnie? Yes. And have what? A better life. A better life, mm -hmm. right? You're about to discover how to transform your marriage, equip yourself with the tools to overcome any challenge that arises and have the relationship you dreamed you would have on your wedding day. That's right. And so again, we are Ronnie and Lamar Tyler, and we're the creators of BlackAndMarriedWithKids.com. Yep, we are. But Ronnie, hold on. Before we start, we always have a few rules. So can I share the rules with the audience? Okay. All right. Before we start any training, we got a few rules. So rule number one, guys, is, is it okay for us to have fun together on this training? If it's okay for us to have fun, and it is, I want you to type in the chat, yes, Lamar. Are you guys ready to have some fun? And I'm going to wait just to see if we can. Okay, I see the yes, Lamar's, yes, Lamar's. They don't know what they're asking for because you play too much. Okay, there we, there we go, right? <laughs> uh, I see the yes, Lamar's coming. All right, we can have fun. All right, this is great information, but we can have fun in the process too. It does not have to be stuffy and dry and boring, guys. Rule number two is that this is going to be an interactive training. What kind of training, Ronnie? Interactive. In fact, the more you guys give to us, the more we're going to give to you. So on this training, we're going to be interactive. We're going to be taking polls and asking questions, and we're going to make sure we answer every single question that you have. In fact, before we begin, I want you to take out a, a, a pen and a piece of paper, and I want you to write down what is the biggest challenge in your marriage. I want you to write that down. Go ahead and put that down right now, right? And when you write it down, I want you to type it into the actual chat for me as well. What is the biggest challenge in your marriage? I see money is the first thing I see, uh, balance, communication, 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 Fine. communication again four times, finances, communication, uh, my, being my authentic self, communication, lack of communication, Confidence. trust, communication, the proper way of communication, uh, roles with the kids, intimacy, resolving conflict, trust, health, uh, money, romance, honesty, distrust of me, all of the above, finance, Intimacy, health, health, communication, trust. Wow, I see all those coming in. So guess what, guys? One of the things I want you to see is as you see any actual chat, you are not alone. There are other people that are going through the same things that you are going through, that are facing the same issues and challenges that you're actually facing. So guess what? You're in the right spot. You are not alone. Rule number three is that whenever we come we come to give and serve. But actually, you know what, Ronnie? Before we even get to rule number three, give and serve, I want to ask you, I want to add a bonus rule in before I get to the give and serve part. The bonus rule is that whenever we come, we keep it real, don't we? Yes. Do we keep it real, Ronnie? We keep it real. How real we do keep, we keep it? We keep it 100, okay? We keep it 100 or 100, <laughs> as they say in my neighborhood. I, I want to ask y'all before the next, can we just keep it real with you guys tonight? If we can keep it real, type yes in the actual comment box right now. And I'll just wait for a second. And I see the, oh, y'all didn't even let me get to it. I see a, oh, yeah, I see the yeses, I see the please, yes. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times people get on trainings like this, and, and how are they acting, y'all? I mean, how do, how do, like a lot of times if it's on a, a, a webinar or online training, sometimes you might go to a marriage ministry event. Um, sometimes you might see somebody speaking from the stage. And there we go. Uh, Michael said they acting fake as hell. 
<laughs> I mean, he just, <laughs> okay, he said it. You ain't saying it. He right. said, I didn't but say right. it. He's right. He's right. He's right. Right. <laughs> right. We, we just want to keep it real with y'all. Like Ronnie said, we want to keep it 100. We want to be honest, open and transparent, talk about some of the stuff we did wrong, talk about some of the stuff we did right. We want to talk about the transformation that's happened in our marriage so that somebody else that's listening tonight can have the same transformation we had. Mm -hmm. So when we break these things down. All right, so we can be real with you guys. I want you to type yes in the actual comment box. I see a please keep it 100. Somebody said no tiptoeing, Ronnie. Keep it 100. Okay, now. <laughs> um, I love it. Yes, yes, yes. Yellow yes is coming in. Now, the fourth and final rule is that we always come when we come to give and serve. And in fact, we came here to share with you some amazing information that's going to change what, Ronnie? Their lives and their marriage. Change their lives mm -hmm. and their marriages. Right. Now, now, I'm sorry. Now, before the end of this, we're going to give all of you something absolutely incredible that will improve your communication. Right. We've got this very special checklist to help you improve your communication. Now, many of you in this webinar have already mentioned in the chat that you're having challenges with communication. When we asked you what was your biggest challenge, I saw communication come up so many times. Yes. And so if you agree with that or if you're having some issues with communication, just type in communication in the chat and let's see that come through because we definitely saw a lot of people that said they had some issues in that area. All right, I see them coming in. Communication, yes. communication. So many. So just looking at that and polling it, we definitely see that. So as our gift to you, we're going to give you our BMWK Improved Communication Checklist. Um, it's definitely going to help you to have more organized plan, more focused and intentional communication with your spouse. And we're going to give you that just for showing up and being here ready to learn. Definitely so. Definitely so. Now, I have a question for you guys. Have you ever wondered, what it would be like to be fully understood and appreciated in your marriage. If you have, I want you to type yes in the comment box. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a higher level of intimacy? I mean, one higher than what you had when you first got married, when everything was new. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a marriage that is thriving and not just surviving? Have you guys, I'm asking you guys in the actual chat right now, have you ever wondered that? And Ronnie can actually tell you the difference between the two. Right. So you definitely want to make sure you have a marriage that is thriving and not just surviving. You know, a marriage that is surviving has overcome something, but it's just like you're barely holding on. Yes. Whereas a marriage that is thriving, it's growing and it's resilience. Um, you know, you, you, you find strength even through the things that you've gone through. And so we want your marriages to not only survive, but we want them to thrive. Yeah, we sure do. Now, in fact, how many of you would like for us to share with you the five easy ways to transform your marriage from where it is right now to the marriage you always dreamed of? If that's you, type your last name, right? Or type your name or type of me or something in the actual chat so that we know it's you. And right. I'll wait. I see it coming in. Okay, the Nobles want to see, the Palmers want to see, Johnsons, mm -hmm. the Reeds, the Hamiltons, Q Brown wants to see. Okay, I love it. And how many of you would like me to share how you can get the results you want in your marriage and love the process? I love that. Because that's the part, Ronnie, nobody talks about. You know, it, like it always have to be such drudgery. Is that proper use of the word, Ronnie? It's kind of, yeah. Okay, I've been known to make some words up and make some meanings up. Ronnie's a little more. Ronnie got a few more degrees. I don't know degrees. if I can spell that, but Ronnie yeah. Got, Ronnie got a few more degrees than me. I've learned to float it out there every now and then. But we we being real. I get the drift, right? You, you, you get just, the drift. You don't you, want you, it to, it doesn't hey, have to be. If um, y'all catch my drift, type yes, Lamar, in the chat to let me know that you catch my drift. <laughs> Right. <laughs> here so we go. I got, a, I got a hand up. I got a hand up. I see some yes, Lamar. All right. I'm here with my people tonight, Ronnie. I'm not, I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about all that. But, but this is the thing, right? It don't have to be drudgery. Like, like you can get results and love the process. Yes. As you turn this thing around, as you make it better, even if your marriage is good, like Ronnie says, you can make it gooder. Gooder. That's what she said, right? That, that's one of my words. Ronnie's that's roots one of my trace words. back to Smithfield, Virginia, where they say you can go from good to gooder. Are you are you joining my sleep? No, I'm not, I'm not. I saw somebody there from Newport News tonight. I'm and not. we will rise up on you, okay? <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. All right, Ronnie, stop playing. Let's get into this thing. Right, because they're also about to discover the biggest challenges that couples just like you are facing and how you can overcome them. I love that. You know, we promise you that by the time you, we end this presentation, you're going to know the exact steps that you need to know to begin transforming your marriage and living the marriage of your dreams. There we go, Ronnie. And let me say, I will say, shout out to Leslie. Leslie told me don't mess with tide water. That's right. I'm sorry. Thank I, you. I, I, I refrain. I pulled back. <laughs> now, guys, let's, let's be real and talk about this. There's a problem, and, and let's, you know, no jokes aside, 
we see this with so many couples. We see a lot of couples that have gotten married and they're not having fun anymore, not smiling. Some of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. We see a lot of people not going out, not having fun together. They feel like roommates. They're arguing in front of the kids, losing control. Finances are out of whack. I saw somebody talking about money early. I see somebody saying, that's us in the chat. We see people that are working against each other, not even sleeping in the same beds. We see marriages where the trust has been broken. They can't move forward. Everything is just stuck. We see fights and arguments. We see so many challenges. And guys, that's why we want to transform your marriage. So when we're here talking about transforming your marriage, I know somebody saying, well, what is that all about? Transforming your marriage is about how you have a happy and healthy marriage based on better communication, greater relationships, and more intimacy. More what, Ronnie? Intimacy. Intimacy. How many of you guys want to know how to have more intimacy in your marriages? Let me see that in the chat. Right. So why transform your marriage? There's several reasons why you would want to transform your marriage today. And the first is that there are more than two options to where you currently are. Yes. You know, most people think they only have two options in their marriage, and that is to stay and be miserable or to leave. But there's also that third option. How about staying and being happy? I like that. I love that. And so why transform your marriage? So you can get back to the reasons you got married originally. You know, we recently did a poll during a training and 72% of the attendees said that the marriage they currently have is not the marriage that they dreamed of. And this may be the case for you right now, but we can definitely help you change that. And the third reason why you need to transform your marriage is because your marriage matters. It not only matters to you, but it matters to your children and to the community as a whole. Exactly. So I know somebody's saying, well, well, why now? Well, let me share with you why you need to transform your marriage right now, starting the day, because I know somebody's wondering. One of my favorite marriage authors, guys, is Dr. Gary Chapman, author of a little small book called The Five Love Languages. <laughs> Has anybody ever heard of that book, The Five Love Languages? If you have, type yes in the actual chat. Let me see. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Somebody said yes. Uh, I see a bunch of yeses. Bunch of yeses coming through. Yes, yes, I have it. Still have it. Still use it. I have that book. Yes. All right. Awesome. It's an awesome, awesome book. Well, Dr. Gary Chapman, the author of Five Love Languages, says that marriages don't stand still. I want you guys to lean in and listen to this. He says marriages don't stand still. They either get better or they get worse, but they don't stand still. So the question I want to ask you is which way is your marriage moving? Is it getting better or is it getting worse? And there's no, I know somebody wants to type, you know, it's in the middle. And there is no in the middle, right? He said that marriages don't stand still. One of the foremost experts in the world on marriage. Is your marriage getting better or is it getting worse? Which way is it moving? And I see not sure. I see a lot of worse. I see one better uh, at, at worst, right? I'm committed to it changing. I love that. Mm, I Depends love that. on the day and who you're asking. Not better, not better, worse more towards better, few betters, there we go, that's good, worse, not sure, right? And if you're not sure, it's probably getting worse, right? Let's just be honest with it. And why now, guys? Why do you transform your marriage now? Because the farther apart you grow, the more work it is to bring it back together. And we've seen this so many times with so many couples. You cannot let that thing continue to drift further apart. Why now? Because your children are watching you and will model what they see. How many of you know that's true, that your children are watching you and we'll model what they see. Let me see that in the chat. And in fact, if not now, when are you going to take your marriage seriously? Can I ask him that, Ronnie? Mm -hmm. When, if not now, are you going to take your marriage seriously? So for those of you who may not know us, I know a lot of you do that, that are on, um, I want to just give you a little bit of information about us. We work closely with many of the country's top marriage experts and coaches, and we're trained and certified in multiple marriage education curricul curriculums. You know, we have a total audience of over 800,000 people that we talk to about marriage each month, and we run the largest African-American marriage site on the web, and that's blackandmarriedwithkids.com. We're nationally recognized speakers, and we've published over eight books, probably more like 10 now, and um, four no, seven best-selling documentaries. And now, so that's, that's a little bit about us and what we do. But would uh, any of you like to hear our story about how we met? Hey, if you want to hear the story of how we met, right? If some, some of you may be curious, some of you may be nosy. Let's keep it 100. 
Uh, if you want to hear a story about how we met, let me see you in the chat right now. I I see you guys. Nosy Absolutely. Right. Somebody said nosy. Somebody owned it. That's what they all say we can be real. We being real with y'all. And be they real say they us. want to hear the real story, not that little nice story. Right? There we go. Somebody <laughs> said, I would love to hear it again. Somebody said, give it up. <laughs> all right. So basically, it was love at first sight for Lamar. For Ronnie. For Lamar. Couldn't keep, yeah. couldn't keep her away. Yeah, so whatever. Couldn't keep her breast. It was hard. <laughs> So when I met Lamar, I was a single mother of two. I had just moved back to Virginia, Tidewater area, okay, to be close to my family after leaving a long, unhealthy relationship. And at that time, I was focusing on myself and my children. And so I met Lamar through a mutual friend. I actually went to visit her in the D.C. area, and he was her coworker, and we met at her home. Um, he had a traveling job at that time, and so he was trying to be smooth when I met him. He told me that when he um, was going to come to my city, he would look me up and give me a call so we can go out. And he did just that like two months later, though, right? And But the, he did that, and the rest was history. So, y'all, this is one of the things I always say. Singles always ask me, how did you know your spouse was the one? Has anybody ever had your single friends ask you that? Have you ever heard that question before? Like, how did you know when somebody, April said, yep, Mary said, yep. How did you know your spouse was the one? Well, I'm going to let Ronnie tell you that. Ronnie, how did you know I was the one since you were, you were in hot pursuit? I was in hot pursuit. Come on, let's keep it real. <laughs> I thought we were going to keep it real tonight. <laughs> So I knew, I knew Lamar was the one because he was so present when we were dating. Um, he came down to my home in Newport News, Virginia, and he spent time with me and my kids and with my family. And he never made me feel like there was someplace else that he needed to be. Um, he was very comfortable being with my family. And that's what I needed. I didn't need a guy coming around, tapping his feet. I had kids and I needed for someone to come and just be happy to be with me and be in my situation. So he always made me feel 100% loved. Um, and when we first started dating, he said, I had a wall up. But through his actions, he really was able to break that down. And, and what I say is that, you know, you've met the one when you do things for them that you normally would never do. See, I had a rule, a general rule of thumb, right? No judgment, y'all. Don't judge me. I had a rule of thumb that I didn't date anyone outside of a 30 minute radius of my house, right? I know it's crazy, but, but that was my rule. Uh, I lived in D.C. area at the time. It was a lot of traffic, y'all. Brother ain't like, you know, it was enough just getting back and forth from work. Couldn't do it in a day or two. Don't judge me. Now, picture this. All of a sudden, the dude who wouldn't drive more than 30 minutes outside of his house for a date was driving every other week in two and a half hours down 95 South from the D.C. area to Newport News, Virginia. I was in love, L-O-V-E. I got a question for you guys. Has love ever made anyone else on this train and step outside of their comfort zone? I want to I want to see maybe it's just me. If it's made you step outside of your comfort zone, type yes if you know what I'm talking about. Now, fast forward 11 months later and we were engaged. Then one year after that, we were married. And, and if you can just close your eyes and imagine, it was a beautiful fall day. The temperature was perfect, right, in the 70s. Not too hot, not too cold. We were right on the waterfront in Hampton, Virginia, actually right across from Hampton University. This is a picture of us on our wedding day. We were a lot younger back then, right? Youngish, <laughs> and things were going great. Um, you remember those times, Ronnie? Yes. All right, uh, this is me at, um, I had a new job, right? Not too long after that at a TV station in DC. Here is uh, Ronnie. We instantly had a family of four when we got married. Like Ronnie said, she already had two children. Um, so then we figured, hey, why not just have more kids right now? Why wait? And before we knew it, Ronnie was pregnant just two months after our wedding. In August 2006, we had Janelle. Here's her picture. Then in February 2008, we had Jody. Here's her picture. And within a very short time frame, we had a new marriage, new kids. I had a new job. We had a brand new house. Then came a bunch of brand new problems. And I know somebody on this training can relate to what I'm talking about. You said bunch too hard. Okay. Oh, excuse me. It wasn't a bunch. It was a rack, a <laughs> rack of bad. Somebody, if you if you got married, just ran into a rack of problems, and you keeping it real. Let me see you in the chat right now, <laughs> and I'm gonna Lamar. step back and let let Ronnie share with you for a minute. <laughs> so, can you imagine going from two kids to four kids quickly, moving to a new city and having a new family in a short period of time? You know, it seemed as if we were living the American dream, but we quickly found out that it wasn't as we began to experience blended family issues. Mm -hmm. We were having major issues coming together as a blended family. 
Lamar and I were not seeing eye to eye when it came to discipline, and we were getting negativity from our family members. And to top it off, we were just having our own marital issues because we were a new couple and we just didn't know how to resolve our issues. And then besides blended family issues, which were major enough, I mean, if you know about the blended family issues, let me see you in the chat. You know, we were also having issues that many couples can relate with, even if you don't have a blended family. Let me know if this just resonates with any of you guys. We couldn't communicate at all. We were always arguing and verbally attacking each other. We had major issues based on unfulfilled expectations. And so many times we get married, we think the way we do things is the right way. Or we think we know what our role should be and what our spouse's role should be. But they're thinking something totally different than what we're thinking. And I just remember at those times feeling down. Now, imagine me, right? Just close your eyes and imagine me driving, getting into huge arguments, 6.15, 6.30 in the morning when I'm on my way to work and feeling like my day was ruined before it even got going. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? And, and when I look back on it, just to be honest, you know, it, it, it wasn't a good feeling, y'all. And I just remember thinking, is this how a divorce starts? Is, is this the feeling that you have that leads down that path? And to tell you the truth, it was one of the worst feelings I've ever felt in my life. Then to make matters worse, there were people who were actively plotting against our marriage. And that's something I just never could have imagined. There were people who didn't want to see us succeed, didn't want to see us happy. Has anyone listening ever had someone that just didn't want to see you happy or just didn't want to see your marriage prosper? Type, type yes in the actual chat box if, if you know what I'm talking about. I see yeses. Somebody said, I'm there right now. Somebody said, church folks, Ronnie. Mm. Several people. Yep, jealous. Yes, yes, sir. We are right there. Yes, the in-laws, in-laws, miserable friends. Somebody said, just a few minutes ago. Right now, actually. In-laws, in-laws, yes, yes. So y'all know what I'm talking about. And to be honest, when we first got married, I never, ever could have imagined that there were people who want to see our marriage fail. But what I quickly found out is that was the case because when we were going through all this stuff, naysayers were all around us. Right. And you know, it all came to a head one day when we had this huge argument over how we should discipline the kids. We, yep. That was an argument we had a lot. And I can remember just getting up from the dinner table, you know, running upstairs, slamming the door and just crying because it had gotten really bad. I mean, all of this went out, played out in front of the kids. But um, everything turned around when Lamar came upstairs and he just came into the room and he reassured me that although we didn't see eye to eye, that he loved me and that he wanted things to work out. And so on that night in our bedroom, I can remember this vividly. We had just made a commitment to each other that we would both do what was best for our family. And from then on, we made a conscious decision to turn things around. And I think that was like really pivotal for us. So basically there were three main things that we did in order to turn our marriage around. And the first thing that we did was we had to take our blinders off. You know, we were blindsided by these blended family issues. Yes but we had to take our blinders off and admit that we really had some issues here and that we needed help. And so do you know that the first step to turning things around, is just admit, admitting that you need help. It That's is. really the, the does, first step. Does anybody on this training tonight need help and you're willing to admit it right now? Yes. And the second thing we did was to form a united front. You know, we made a decision that we were going to come together and that we were going to support each other and be united in all things that concerned our family. And what I realized is that, and what I learned just through this whole process, and I'm, I'm going to just share this with you guys so that you can take it. Hopefully, you know, it, it, it touches your heart. You cannot allow cracks in the foundation of your marriage. Ronnie, can I share that again? Yes. You Very cannot true. allow, and I want you to write this down. I want you to write down, I will not allow cracks in the foundation of my marriage. Because this is what happens, y'all. When other people see those cracks, They'll try to use them to break you apart, right? When other people see those cracks, they will try to use them to break you apart. And guess what? I'm not just talking about adults. Type I know in the chat if you know that your kids, your own kids, will exploit those same cracks too. And that kids will try to break your marriage up just like friends and family members will. I see yeses. I see I knows. 
I see yes, 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 Lord, yes, Lord, yes, sir, say that. I mean, we we being real and honest about this thing tonight, y'all. Ain't nothing to hide about it. Ain't nothing to hide about it. Okay. And then the third thing we did, and this, this part is really important, is that we had to get educated and get the tools. Yes. We didn't come into this marriage knowing how to be married or even having the skills necessary to blend a family. And we quickly found out you need some skills in order to blend a family. <laughs> so we decided to get educated through classes, books, conferences, retreats, anything that we could get our hands on. And that's really what it took to turn our marriage around. It did. And, and to be honest, right, because we guys, you know, we said we can be honest tonight. It's crazy even thinking back to that time, because right now we're somewhere totally different today. I mean, there were times before when we couldn't stand each other. But now, not only do we live together, we work together every day. We get to experience new things together. We get to travel around the world together, right? Mm -hmm. They're just enjoying each other. We get to live a life that we truly enjoy, living out our life's purpose, helping other couples just like you, right? Uh, here's a picture of Ronnie standing beneath a billboard we were on in Kankakee, Illinois, outside of south of Chicago. We went down there doing a keynote for Black Marriage Day. This is us on, on a red carpet at the Ebony 100 Gala a few years back. We were selected to a list of the country's most influential African Americans. Now on the list was President and First Lady Obama, uh, Will and Jada, Jay-Z and Beyonce, and Lamar and Ronnie, right? And I know yes. everyone's thinking, who in the world <laughs> was that last couple when they went through the Ebony's? Guess what? It was us. We up in that piece, <laughs> right? Uh, we love to travel together, like I said, and just enjoy each other. This is a picture that we took in Santa Fe, New Mexico, while we were filming a TV show called Sweet Retreats with our good friends, Renee Siler. I mean, we got um, some time alone away from the kids coming up in just a few weeks here. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do our BMWK marriage cruise almost every year so that we can get together with other couples just working on improving our marriages. I mean, there, there's so much that we get to do now mm -hmm. in a totally different place than where we were before. Yes. And I know so many of you guys listening are in that place that we were. And that's why we're having this training. That's why we're about to share these five tips with you. That's why we need you to listen, to get prepared, to take out a sheet of paper and get ready to write this next piece down because it will bless your heart. Right. So write this down. Communication plus intimacy plus actions. Plus what, Lamar? Action. Equals freedom. Woo! I love that. It equals freedom to have that relationship that you dreamed of. It totally does. It totally does, right? And guys, I mean, I'm going to leave that for a second just so you can get it. Communication plus intimacy plus action equals freedom. Now, there's a bigger reason, guys, that we're here. We're not just here to give you, you know, a system and a formula to transform your marriage. We're not here just to sell you on having a better marriage or your dream marriage. Our bigger reason is our ultimate desire to transform your marriage because it's everyone's right your right to have a happy marriage. It's something that's available. It's not something, excuse me, that's available to just a lucky few people or people who make a certain amount of money, people who have a certain type of education. This is something that is your God-given right. And we believe that we found our God-given purpose to support marriages through the example that we are setting through our own marriage and the work we do through blackandmarriedwithkids.com. And we know that if we can transform your marriage, then we'll transform your, your family and we'll transform our community. And we need stronger black families, stronger black marriages, just like yours. I mean, just being real in the comments, how many of you know that God wants better for your marriage than you have right now? Let me see it. If, if that's you and you know it, right? I see it. We really do. Yes. Amen. Yes. I know. I know. Amen. Yes. Right. Yes. You see it. Yes, 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 yes. I know it. Like, like you know this. So all it's going to take is you getting moved forward in the right direction and we're going to show you how to do that. Now, there are a lot of myths that we hear. People are coming to us and they say, well, my spouse won't do the work with me. They, they, they won't put in the work. Well, my friends, let me tell you this. In what we do in the programs we help create, right, we give you different strategies so that you can get things started. And guess what? If your spouse won't do it, what I can guarantee is that if you don't do it either, nothing will change. Right. And like Dr. Gary Chapman said, your marriage is either moving forward or backwards. Somebody has to step up. Somebody has to be the first. You're saying, well, why does it have to be me? Well, why not? Right. Your children are worth it. Your marriage is worth it. You better get up and do something to save your marriage and your relationship. Right. Somebody saying, well, guess what? You know, my marriage is too far gone. Well, let me tell you something. It's never too late. 
you know, we try to really equip you guys and provide you with ways that you can focus on those pressing issues. Ronnie, we've seen couples that have been, you know, divorce papers in hand. Right. We've seen couples turn it around and it just took really them deciding, making that choice that we're going to turn this around, but it's never too far gone. It's never too, go um, too, too late to choose your marriage. Exactly. Never too late. Never too late. Hey, some people say it was going to cost too much money. How many of you guys think it's going to cost too much money to, to get the help that you need to turn your marriage around? Let me see if that's you and let's just be honest and real. And what I'll share is that the average marriage, right, the cost just went up. They said the average, it used to be $30,000 was the average cost to exit a marriage. Now they say it's gone closer to 40K. And that's just attorneys and, and financial. That doesn't count losing the house. That doesn't count losing the car. It doesn't count uh, the emotional cost. And better yet, what does it cost your children emotionally when your marriage ends in divorce? You can't afford not to begin to make this shift right now. And I hear it all the time. We don't have the time. Some people are so busy. Well, I'm going to tell you that you can't afford not to have the time. If you don't have the time now to change and shift your marriage, when will you have the time? So... Finally, we came here today because we wanted to share with you five steps to transform your marriage. So how many of you would be interested in learning those five steps? Let me hear that in the chat room. Let me see that. And so we're, I'm going to break all five of these steps down, um, and then we're going to go into each one in very good detail. So step one is you need to change your mindset. You need to change your what? Change what, guys? Your mindset. That's right. Step two is you have to learn how to manage conflict. What's the word? Conflict. Step three is you have to get educated. Now you need to write that down. Step four is you have to be committed to the process. And step five is you, ha you have to live your happily ever after. I love those. Now, like, I get, like Ronnie said, if you didn't catch all of them, don't worry. You know, we'll, we'll go through them one by one. And you're going to like, make sure you have a pen and paper right now because we're about to get rolling in this thing, guys. Right. So step one, let's get right into it. Change your mindset. You know, your mindset has the power to change the trajectory of your marriage. And your thoughts can help form and determine how you feel about your marriage. Just your thoughts. Yes. They can inspire hope or they can take it away. So when it comes to your marriage, you have to change your mindset from negativity to positivity. Changing the way you think can change your behavior and even your habits. Like literally changing the way you're thinking today is going to change how you treat your spouse, the things that you say to them, how you greet them when they come home. And so it's all about changing your mindset from one from negativity to positivity. Yes. And then once you've changed your mindset, we want you to become solution oriented. Choose, choose actions towards finding solutions to the problems that are in your marriage and choose to have those loving actions towards your mate. You know, Dr. Johnny Parker, who appears in our film Still Standing says, continue to have loving actions, even when loving feelings aren't present. You know, when a couple chooses loving actions, oftentimes loving feelings emerge again, right? So even when you're not feeling it and you don't have those loving feelings right then, choose those loving actions and keep having those loving actions and those loving feelings will emerge again. So I love that quote from Dr. Johnny, Dr. Johnny Parker, but really what it is, it's all a choice. So let's start changing our mindset. And then finally, it starts with a choice every day to wake up and to think about something positive about your marriage identify those blessings. You know, when you wake up in the morning and when you, your first thoughts, you know, just think about your blessings and just be thankful for your marriage. Hey, real quick guys in the chat, I want you to type something that, um, um, something that's a blessing in your marriage. I want you to identify something, one thing right now and put it into the chat, no matter how bad things are, no matter where you think you're at, something positive about your spouse or about your marriage in the chat, right? So I said, my wife, somebody said good health. Um, somebody said our communication, somebody said my husband, my wife, my stepchildren, teamwork, uh, they're a provider, uh, they're alive, right? Um, she is patient, our children, our faith in God, there we go, my husband, my wife is committed to us, our teamwork and parenting, 
we do uh, ministry together, right? We've lasted for 14 years. If you've lasted to where you are, that's something that you're blessed with. Yes. He provides giving, teamwork. Uh, he is very attentive to my needs, right? Uh, supportive, public displays of affection. There we go, right? I, I love that, Ronnie. So they're focusing on the blessings. No matter right. where they are in their marriage right now, they're focusing on the actual blessings. Hey, guys, I want to share with you guys a success story, right? This is from, um, you know, someone who got a hold of one of the different products that we offer. This was Brittany. She said, I think the biggest thing for me is when Dr. Parker spoke about when love and feeling is gone, love and action should still continue, which will in turn keep the love going and bring the love and feeling back. Being intentional is something I'm definitely trying to work on now in my marriage. It's so easy to let the lack of feelings or negative feelings block any notion of love, right? You guys know exactly what that's talking about. Block any notion of love. Thank you for doing what you do. Now imagine that. How many of you would like to have positive feelings about your marriage again? If that's you, type me in the actual chat right now, right? I love it. Ronnie, what's step number two? Step two is manage conflict. Manage what? Conflict. You know, is it okay if I ask you something? Does your marriage have the it factor? The it factor. I like that. Right. So one of our experts, Dr. Shane Perot, stresses the importance of having the it factor in your marriage. You know, Dr. Perot says, many couples search for the key element that keeps them together. It normally isn't attractiveness, sex, or money. He says determining whether or not a couple has the it factor usually depends on what happens during conflict. The it factor relates to what transpires when we have a conflict and it is emotional. And so the main idea for couples during conflict is to discover, can we cut a deal that mm -hmm. works for both of us? So we want you to have the it factor. and We want you to be able to manage conflict and be able to cut a deal. That works for both of you. Right. And which is why we say you need to compromise. Need to what? Compromise, right? You both have to be able to compromise and sacrifice for the greater good of your marriage. I love that. Mm -hmm. And finally, you have to be responsible for how you're communicating if you really want to be able to manage conflict and really work through those problems. You know, do you feel like your spouse really understands what you're saying? And if I asked them the same thing, what would they say? You know, so we have several methods that we want to share with you on really how to uh, just communicate better and how to manage conflict. You know, we have several systems and things that we want to share with you that can help you have more effective communication in your marriage and help you manage conflict a lot better. Yeah, but, and before the end of this, we'll share with some of those tools with you guys so that you know how to hear and be heard in your marriage, right? Mm -hmm. How to, um, you know, understand each other better, how to be able to get to the core of some of these issues that you're dealing with, and especially around communication because we know this is one of the things that you guys said was really um, bothering you and really becoming an issue in your actual marriages. Now, there are, are some things you need to know about communication. When you are delivering the message, you have to take responsibility to ensure you're doing a good job of getting that message across accurately. Mm -hmm. Right, am I right, am I right? Right. And when you guys are receiving the message, you have to take responsibility to ensure you fully understand what your spouse is trying to get across to you what they want you to receive. And that means you're not forming a response in your mind while they are talking. Has anybody listening, and Ronnie, you don't have to say anything since you're um, training right now. Has anybody in the chat ever <laughs> been forming a response in their mind and you know you ain't listening to your spouse because all you're thinking about is what you're going to say back? Right. So you're saying I do that. <laughs> so No, I say, I say you didn't have to. You had to tell yourself. You don't have to tell yourself. Call me out. Somebody said, come on now. Uh, sometimes somebody say all day. Yes, I do that. Oh, yes. Preach. I'm a preach, Stacey. Uh, guilty all the time. For real. Yes, true, true. Uh, <laughs> somebody said, yeah, I did mid-sentence. Both of us. Um, somebody took their spouse down with them. They said, yep, both of us. Right. Both of us. I mean, the whole point is, and what you just said is that you both have a responsibility. You, yes. you know, listening and when you're speaking, just re be really intentional about what you're doing with that communication. And if you don't know how, just learn how to manage conflict. Just learn how to do, you know, have better communication. Yeah. Hey, definitely a skill to learn. Guys, here are two more quick success stories from people that have got a hold of, of our products and some of the different tools that we've created right? How it's made a change. Um, the first one said the week-long exercise went very well. It really helped us communicate and, and our ability to resolve conflict between us. Thank you for the exercises. 
The next one said, for me and my husband, the first month training was really an eye opener. I got a chance to see a side of my husband I never get to see because he's so closed off and nonverbal about things that go on with him and how he feels. Anybody have a husband like that? Um, from the training, also learned that he felt that I don't listen and over talk him, which in turn makes him more closed and nonverbal than he already is. We enjoyed this training and are looking forward to November's, right? We just want to show these to show you what happens when you get a hold of tools that you can use, mm -hmm. when you, you get committed to making a change, beginning to shift your marriage. It's not always both of you. Oftentimes we hear a lot of people, we see a lot of people in our programs that they're coming along, he's coming along, she's coming along because they don't want to quit. And then once they start to see change, once they start to get some tools, they can take those tools back to the other person. The person sees a change in them and it changes everything changes everything. Now imagine that. Like how many of you would love to better understand your spouse and have better communication with your spouse? If that's you, let me see you say yes in the actual chat right now. So step three, and I see all those yeses coming in, Ronnie. You see that? Yeah. The screen is blowing up. Mm -hmm. Step three is I want you to get educated. Get what, Ronnie? Educated. Educated. Now, in order to get educated, the first thing you need to do is to fill your marital toolbox. That means you're equipping yourself with tools you need when the challenges arise. Because no matter who you are, how much money you have, how influential you are, how fancy your job is, the challenges will arise in your marriage. How many of you guys know that's true? And the difference between the couples who make it and the couples who don't is that the couples who make it are ready to take on the challenge. And you can prepare yourself by getting the tools right now to make your marriage better today. Then next, I want you to get help how you like it. In this day and age, there's no reason that you can't get some type of help for your marriage. Us alone, we offer DVDs, CDs, MP3s, home-based systems, online systems. There's so many, re a cruise. There's so many resources that you no longer have an excuse not to get the help that your marriage needs. Do you guys understand me, right? And then next, I want you to open yourself up to growth. Be open to learning new things and applying them in your marriage. Ronnie and I have made a promise, like she talked about earlier, to invest in our marriage every year. We read new marriage books. We attend conferences. We go to retreats. We go to marriage ministry events. We watch marriage movies. We do everything we can to continue growth in our marriage. And guess what? It's paying off. And, and we have to look at our marriage as an investment. And this is an investment that we're seeing a return on, right? Here's another success story, guys. Um, Helen said, my marriage is good. And what drew me to purchase your product is that I want to make my marriage better. This is my second marriage. And while they say it gets better the second time around, I also want to make this my last time around. Mm. Who wants this marriage to be their last marriage? And I don't care. You may only have one marriage. I still want it to be your last marriage. If you want this marriage to be your last marriage, I want you to say yes in the actual chat right now. I see yes, yes, absolutely, amen, yes, 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 yes. Awesome. I love it, Ronnie. I love it. I love it when people publicly proclaim, I want better for my marriage. I want better for me. I don't care where it's at right now. I want this to be my best one. I this love is it. my last marriage, and this is your last marriage. I'm claiming that for you, too, <laughs> <laughs> no matter what. All right, so step four, Ronnie, what's step four? So step four is commit to the process. You know, don't just go through the motions. We see a lot of people who say they want changes in their marriage, but their actions are not matching up with their words. They're going to counseling and they're reading books, but they are not taking the time to implement any of the strategies. They're just doing enough just to say that they're doing something. Right. And, and I will say, can I say something real quick, Ronnie? Because I saw something in, in the comments I wanted to address. I saw somebody say, it's really hard when you're putting your all in and it's not reciprocated. I want it to be great. We fully understand that, right? Like, no way are we saying, hey, it's easy. No way are we saying that your feelings won't feel a certain way. You won't be hurt. Mm -hmm. Any of these type of things. But what we are saying at the same time is sometimes we have to get help beyond our own selves. Mm -hmm. We have to find different tools. And guess what? We see a lot of couples that say, hey, you know, I want to... Um, a therapist, and I sat down with a therapist or a counselor or a past and it didn't work. Well, guess what? We need to find the next thing and see if the next thing works. Mm -hmm. You know, how many times if you go to the doctor and that doctor ain't right, you leave and say, guess what? What do they say, Ronnie? You go to another doctor. You go to another doctor. I'm going to find another doctor. Um, you go to a dentist and you hear something that don't seem quite I'm right. I'm going back there. I'm going to go to another one. You're going to find another one, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to push through and find what we need 
that's going to activate our marriage. Right. And so next, we just want you to celebrate the small victories. You know, after you get committed to this process, and yes, it's a process. It's going to happen over time. It's going to take time. Then you have to celebrate the small victories along the way. Right. And just, ima- and just recognize the small changes that are happening along the way. And then just get dedicated to this journey. They're going to be mountaintops. They're going to be valleys. You're going to make progress and then it's going to feel like you're going right back. But in the end, you just have to stay committed to the process and you're going to make it through. Yep. Here's another success story, guys. And we're showing these to show you if these couples did it, you can do it too. David said, my wife and I bumped heads in such a way it seemed to be close to, if not the proverbial straw on the camel's back. I stepped outside of myself the day after and asked her to watch the videos with me. We did, and we both enjoyed them. They helped us begin the road to consistent recovery. Mm. Who else is ready to start this journey and get on the road to recovery in their marriage? Who's ready to transform their marriage? Mm. If that's you, let me see you in the actual comments right now. I see a me, I see a me, I see a I am, me, 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 yes, yes, we are, me, I am, emojis, I am 100, yes, we are, Yes, there we go. I see him coming in. Crystal, I see you, Robin, Alicia, Lakeisha, Clarissa, Michael, I saw you, Cynthia, uh, Monica, Caroline, Karen, Angel. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Proudly proclaim it that you're serious about this thing. Now, here's step five, guys. We want you to live your happily ever after. Let me tell you what that means. First, we want you to learn from your past so you don't make the same mistakes that you made before. Ronnie, that's important, isn't it? Right. Learn from your past, guys. Then we want you to enjoy the moment and enjoy each other, right? Why not take advantage of one of the greatest joys of marriage? And one of the greatest joys of marriage is your partnership. Having someone to enjoy this life with once you go through what you need to do to transform your marriage. And after you transform your marriage, we want you to share your story with other couples. When people are unhappy in their marriages, who do they tell, Lamar? They tell everyone. Everyone, right? <laughs> Every single person. The person they work yes. with, the person they ride in the train with, the person in the grocery store, the person at church. They telling all of them. Yes, and they're telling you whether you want to hear it or not. So we want to tell you is to tell everyone, you know, that after you make your transformation, that you can make it too. We want you to share it with them. And after you go through um, your system, your yeah. system, through your transformation, you'll have the ability to transform your marriage and transform your test into a testimony. And other couples need to hear it so they can have hope in their marriages too. Yep. Then we want you to do what, guys? We want you to celebrate and have some fun, right, Ronnie? Mm-hmm. Right? How many people are ready just to celebrate and to get their relationship back? I just definitely want to see that in the chat. All right. There we go. I see it. Yep. I see we are, yes, 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 awesome, yes, me, right? I love it. I love it. I see all of them coming in, Ronnie. Mm, I love that. I'm ready to celebrate with them. Mm. All right, so here's another case study. Somebody has changed their life, right, with one of the systems that we actually offer. They said, thank you so much, Lamar and Ronnie. You have no idea what a great inspiration you have been. We've made such great strides because of you and the resources you provide online. I am forever grateful. Here's another success story and more evidence. At first, I thought my husband and B would be bored and uninterested. He was very attentive, even engrossed at times what couples had to say. We were able to relate to each couple in one way or another. We saw our weaknesses, our strengths, and where we'd like to strive to reach. Here's another success story and more evidence that if they did it, you can do it too. Thank you so very much. I think you just saved us months worth of therapy and several hundred dollars. Who'd like to be saved (laughs) months worth of therapy, right? If this is you, let me see you in the chat. So the question we have for you guys is, will you be our next success story? Who wants to be our next success story? Let me see you in the chat right now. And I'll wait a second because I want to see the names of what actually comes through. You see those names coming through, Ronnie? Yes. I see them. All right. All right. Keep them coming. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Lord, we will. Me, me. Awesome. I see all those coming through. Well, picture this, guys. What would it feel like to be able to travel again or travel for the first time if you haven't been able to travel along with your spouse, right? Traveling with your best friend to be financially stable enough to go on family vacations with without your kids, to have private date nights 
to be able to celebrate just like you did when you first got married, mm -hmm. to look forward to talking to each other just like you did when you first got married, to be able to, to hold hands together, to look in each other's eyes, to, to kiss and hold those long kisses just like you did when you first got married. We want you to get that feeling back and you can get that feeling back. How many of you would love to have a life like that I just talked about? Say yes in the chat room. And I'm just gonna wait to see if those come in. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, awesome. Someone said that would be right. Yes, yes, awesome. I see all those yeses coming in. Yepers, heck yes. Three yeses, it would be nice, it would be nice. Awesome, I love it. Well, guess what guys? For the past hour, would you agree it's been time well spent so far? If you would, let me see you in the chat. I see yes is still coming through, Ronnie. A ton of yes is coming through. Um, what you guys probably know is we can't cover everything you need to transform fully in an hour, even if we had all day. So what we've done is we pulled together a special offer so you can get everything you need to know. Mm. And what I'm about to share with you is amazing. Is is I can't wait for you to see what we are about to show you that's going to help you make the full transformation that we've been talking about for this past hour. And in fact, if you act fast, we're going to give you a very, very special deal on it with some very, very special bonus. Can I throw in the bonuses, Ron? Yes. With some I very love special these bonuses. bonuses. I love them. Now, over the last year, what we've done is we've worked with a very close friend of ours. He's a psychologist with over 20 years of experience working with couples. He uh, works with celebrities. He's been on CNN, HLN. Um, he's the relationship guru for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, Dr. Alduan Tart. More importantly, he's a minister, a man of God, a, a father, and a husband himself to develop what we feel is the most complete product and system that we've ever created. Ryan, are you excited about this thing? I love it. I'm so excited about sharing it. And what we've developed along with Dr. Tart is the Fix My Marriage System, seven building blocks to a strong, godly marriage, right? Where you're going to learn how to have better communication, greater relationships, and more intimacy, right? So in this system, you're going to learn better communication, right? It's going to talk about how to have more sex and intimacy. How many of you guys want to have more sex and intimacy? If you um scared to type yes to me, right, in the chat, right, if you want to keep it on the low, it's all good. But I see a lot of y'all saying me, me, yes, yes, y'all ain't playing them games. You're going to get clear instructions. This system is biblically based because a lot of you say, all right, you know, I want the tools. I want you to equip me, but I want it to be based on the word. You're going to have actionable exercises. Guess what, guys? You can do this at home. So if you got a spouse that said, I don't want to go see somebody. I don't want to go across town. I don't have time because it's too tight. These are activities you can do at home. If you're separated, you can do them in one place. He can do it another place. If somebody's in the military, they're stationed someplace or deployed. They can do it. You can do it. If he or she works somewhere in a different place, right, you both can access it wherever you are, and you will become closer with this system. We guarantee it. Now, who is this not for? This system is not for people who don't really want a better marriage because mm. a lot of people talk about wanting a better marriage. They'll even show up for trainings like this, but really, they ain't really trying to make their marriage better, Ronnie. No. This is not for people who don't want to create a legacy of love. And I'm talking about a legacy of love, something that you pass down, right? Wealthy love that your children see and inspires them to have better relationships. Because how many of you know that if your children see a successful marriage, even if you've gone through some stuff, if you can show them that you can turn it around and go through it and bring it back together again, that when they face a tough time, they'll know that no matter what is happening, I know my mother and my father went through some stuff, but they turned it around so I can too. How many of y'all know that's true? This is not for people that are not committed to having the best, right? For building and transforming their marriage into what God said you could have for you. Now, who is this for? This is for somebody who knows they want better, who know that God has something better in store for you and what you're doing right now in your marriage. This is for somebody that wants better tools to equip themselves for communication. This is for somebody that knows, hey, I'm not a know-it-all. I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. Right, Ronnie? Yes. 
there's somebody out here who knows more than me, right? Over these last 20 years that Dr. Tart has been working with couples, he just might have seen some of the things that you're going through. He's helped people that have been through the same types of issues you have to not only stay together, but make their marriages better. So if they've been able to do it, why can't you? All you need, y'all, we see this so many times with so many couples. All you need oftentimes is a different way of doing things. The way you're doing something, right? It just can be off just a little bit and it gets you one set of results. But if somebody can just see it from the outside, give you and show you a few things, it can drastically change just by shifting a little bit. You know what it's like, Ronnie? Mm. It's like the hinge on the door, y'all. The hinge on the door, if you'll imagine, is small. Pretty small, right? Yeah. Only a few inches big. But if that hinge on the door moves just a few degrees, it can totally open and shut that door. So if the door in your marriage is shut right now, right? This tool, this system we've created, this is why I'm passionate. Y'all can hear the, how passionate I am in my voice. Because I know it works. We've seen it works. We've been in beta and testing this out with couples. And the reaction that we're getting is off the charts. We know that this system works that Dr. Tart has created. And this system is the door hinge. It helps you move just a few degrees and shifts that door on your marriage from being closed to being fully open. So mm -hmm. that you can get the real blessing of what marriage is really all about. Now to fix my marriage online training system that Dr. Tart and I, we created, we sat down, we did this thing, we did the videos, we created the courseware, we made it so you can make notes inside. It's an online training system, you can make notes inside of it. He has scriptures that go along with every training. He has um, prayers that go along with every training. This system retail value $1,200. Mm -hmm. Now what do we cover in this system? Building block one, maintaining friendship and connection right? Because you have to be connected in order to get to the next level in your marriage. Building block number two, we talk about improving emotional intimacy. What kind of intimacy, Ronnie? Emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy. Building block number three talks about improving conversational communication. How many of you guys said you had a problem with communication and you want to know how to actually improve that communication getting started right now? Meaning that when you get a hold of this system within five minutes, you have access. How many of you want access to help with your communication? Let me see that in the chat right now. Building block number four, developing a positive perspective. Building block number five, managing conflict. Building block number six, building a power couple. Mm. Look, y'all, when we transformed this thing and we shifted this thing, we were able to make the shift to becoming a power couple. Mm. A couple that not only has been blessed in their marriage, but now is able to bless other couples by sharing our story and what we went through so that you don't have to keep going through the same thing right? Building block number six, once you become a power couple, we're going to show you how to sustain a power couple. Here's what people are saying about the fix my marriage system. Good stuff, Dr. Tart. I'll use this as a tool to change my responses to my husband in the bedroom because he gave him specific things to do. She said, every tip given will be helpful for myself and for my husband. Here's another success story from the system. My wife and I are going through this phase right now. We're actually taking the time to go out on dates. Dr. Tart, we thank you so much for this lesson. Dr. Tart has an entire piece on there that gets to dating again. Mm. And, and this is probably one of the most impactful pieces because we get the most comments around this part. Right. How many of you guys just want to date again with your spouse? If that's you, let me see you type yes in the chat right now. There we go. I see the yes, 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 yes. I see all of them coming in. Here's another success story. Love, love, love this homework assignment because you do have homework, guys. Now we have our weekly and quarterly date night scheduled for the entire year and just finished booking our anniversary getaway. So excited. How many of you guys would love to have your weekly and quarterly date nights scheduled for the entire year and the an anniversary trip book? Here's another one. My husband and I are going through this session together and we agree that it is very true. We have not dated each other in a while. We're definitely putting this into practice this month. Here's another one. This lesson is stellar information and it's helping to make a difference in my marriage. Here's another one. Love this. My husband and I are going through the same thing with two small kids and it's really hard to find times to connect, but glad this is opening our eyes. How many of you guys have small kids and are having a problem finding the time to connect? If that's you, let me see you in the chat. Guess what? It's another couple that were in the same place and the system helped them get through it. Here's another one. Great lesson. You know that my wife and I discovered that we had gotten so used to being over the top in celebration 
and emotional support for our kids that when our kids grew up and went to college, we had forgotten how to do it for each other. Mm. We simply lost track of being that emotional support system for each other. Thanks for helping us see that we're committing to doing the three. That's what we call it, three appreciations a day. That's an actual strategy that Dr. Tart teaches in the system. How many of you guys are empty nesters now, right? Keeping it real. And you know that when your kids grew up, went to college, you've forgotten how to cheer for yourselves because you've been so busy for the last 18, 20 years cheering for your kids. I see the yes is coming in. I see the yes is coming in. Let me ask you guys this. If all the system did for you was allow you to get back to where you were before in your marriage, when you first met, when everything was new, when you loved talking, when you couldn't wait to see each other and you had that feeling in your gut, would this system be worth it? Let me see you type yes in the chat if you know this system is worth it. Awesome, I see all the yeses coming in. Let me ask you guys this. If all this system did was allow you to be able to not just keep your marriage together, because a lot of us, our expectations are too low, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. All we want to do is keep our marriage together when we need to be looking for ways to transform our marriage. Transformation means we take it from where it is and we birth something totally new. If this allowed you to transform your marriage so that now your children have something, whether they're young or adults, but they have something to view that allows them to keep their marriages together later, would this system be worth it? If all this system did was allow you to start to date again, to hold hands again, to be intimate again with each other, right? Emotional intimacy, physical intimacy, to be close with each other. Would this system be worth it? And I see the yeses coming through. I see the yeses with all caps coming through. Let me see it. If it would be, type yes in the chat. I just want to be honest and transparent with you guys. I see it definitely. Yes, yes. Someone said, I want a whole new marriage, right? I want to have date nights again. I see yeses coming in. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome, right? So here's what we did, guys, right? Because this is going to allow you to focus on what's important again. Total retail value for the system when you go to fixmymarriagesystem.com forward slash launch, and we will drop that into the actual um, chat. The um, um, total price for the actual system, retail value $1,200. You will not pay that today. Ronnie, what did I just say? You will not pay that today. You will not pay that today guys that is not what you will actually do when you get started with our actual system today you will just pay one payment of 197 dollars mm. to get started on shifting and transforming your marriage today 1200 dollars system you won't pay that it'll just be 197 because we are still in our launch phase for this we want to impact as many couples as yes. possible because most couples we talk to no matter where they at they think their marriage can't change. But we know this system works. This is how convicted, and I'm gonna show you how convicted we are that it works in a second. This is how passionate we are that it works, is that we want you to get into it so we can share your success stories in these slides when we do these trainings and share the system with people. But guess what? I know somebody's saying, um, you know, this is amazing. I really wanna do it, but you know, I'm not ready for that investment tonight. What we've done is we've even broken it down. So you can do one payment of 197, or four payments of just $55. And for just $55, you can get started today. Today. Tonight. Today. today. Today with access. Within the next five minutes of once you sign up, you will have access to the modules, to the courses. So you can jump in and get started with making a transformation in your marriage with the Fix My Marriage system. So you have no excuse not to get started. Because for a lot of us, we'll spend more than $55 when we go out to one dinner. Yes, we will. If you have a family of four, you'll spend more than $55 when you go to the movie. You'll spend more than $55 to get the kids registered for any of their activities. But you won't spend $55 today to get started on something that will keep you together so that when your kids grow up, mom and dad are still married. Mm. Come on now. Mm. Yeah, that was deep. But wait, there's more, right? When you get started at fixmymarriagesystem.com forward slash launch, and once you guys get in, I want you to drop an actual um, comment down in the box. I know you guys thought I want to congratulate you. When you get started, we have more that we're going to give you. As a bonus, when you get started today, when, Ronnie? Today. You're going to get our BMWK Marital Guides. These are eight books in ebook format. They're going to tell you things like how to move beyond the pain, how to overcome infidelity, mm. 
how to hear and be heard in your marriage, right? We're going to talk about intimacy. We're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about submission in your marriage, unpacking your baggage. How many of you guys know you need to unpack the baggage from previous relationships mm -hmm. and life struggles so that you can really move ahead in your marriage? We're going to talk about how to achieve marital peace. Now, we normally would sell these retail value $160, but when you take action today, you'll get them for free. How much, Ronnie? Free. Free. Also, oh, I love this part. we've twisted Dr. Tart's arm. What'd you say, Ronnie? <laughs> I love this part. We twisted Dr. Tart on, but for everyone that comes on board with the system today, you'll get six months worth of his monthly office hours call. Now, what that is, is with his office hour call, once a month, he does a call where you can come on and ask him any question. You got a question about something going on in your marriage, you can ask him. You got a question about module two, building block two of the training, you can ask him. You got a question about how to pray together with your spouse, you can ask him because it's the best, he's a minister and a clinically licensed psychologist. Mm. So it's the best of both worlds. And for six months, you'll have access to be able to get on this call every month and get whatever questions you have out or to just listen to what he's teaching and sharing from working with other couples or other people on the call so you can impart it and use it in your marriage. And those sessions are on fire. Fire. First of all, you know, when you get the system today and you learn from Dr. Tart, you, you can see that he has a passion for marriages and that he loves people and he loves marriages and he wants them to succeed. And so when you get on that first call, you're gonna see just why that system is so good. He just really just has a passion for, for marriages. And so um, take advantage, six months of office hours with him and his practice is full. You yeah. can't even get in with him. And for a 197, you can't even get an hour with him for that price. But to have six months of having the opportunity to really get on there and ask him any question that you want, it's an open hour of q a um it's awesome and i just tell you take advantage of this it's worth it alone just to have these office hours and so this is an awesome bonus we're so happy that he agreed to it um and we really want you all to be able to take advantage of that we do guys and again when you get signed up right now at fixmymarriagesystem.com forward slash launch within the next five minutes you will actually have access to the course to the course, right? That's amazing. When you guys get access, I want you to come into the chat and actually drop a comment letting me know that you have access to the course. We couldn't even put a value on this because it's priceless. But guess what? There's more. When you take action within the next 72 hours, you're going to get a few special bonuses because what we found is that the people or the couples that are on our trainings, they take instant action. What kind of action, Ronnie? Instant. Instant, fast action, get the most results because they're decisive about the fact that I want better for my marriage. They don't have mm -hmm. to think about it. They don't have to consider it. They don't have to wonder. They don't have to sleep it, sleep on it about whether they want better. They know, man, I'm looking for a change, a shift, a transformation in my marriage, and I'm ready to go. So they get the, the programs. They dive right in. They go through the work. They do the homework, and they see results. Mm -hmm. So for those couples that are decisive, for those individuals, if you're on a loan that are decisive and you want to move forward, we want to support you. So Dr. Tart has created a special bonus training that is not sold anywhere. You can't buy this training alone called Can Christian Couples Have a Great Sex Life? 15 Secrets of Sexually Satisfied Married Couples. You'll get this for free. The total value is $150, but you won't pay anything. You'll get that for free. In addition, I love these, Ronnie. I love them. These are prayer bracelets, prayer reminder bracelets. You'll get a pair of these, right? You'll give his and her beads, the ones you see on the screen. And what these are is we wear these during the day to remind ourselves. When we look down, when I, I'm looking to see what time it is, I wear mine on my watch hand. When I'm looking to see what time it is, I look down and I see that bracelet. And it reminds me to pause for a second and pray for my spouse. How many of you guys would love to pray more for your spouse and would love for your spouse to pray more for you if that's you type yes in the actual comments right now? And what this does, again, is just one of those things. It's a reminder where we're so busy with work, we're so busy with our business, so busy with the kids, uh, you know, so busy with shelling them back and forth to school and activities and all these other things going on. It's great to just have a reminder throughout the day that you need to stop whatever you are doing and just quickly pray for your spouse. Guess what? You'll get these prayer reminder bracelets for free to total value right? You, you can see these online. So for 40 and 50 bucks a piece, we give them to you for free when you take action. When, Ronnie? 
it within 72 hours. So right now. Right now, right, right now. Yeah. Do not say, hey, this is good. I'm gonna come back tomorrow to forget and then don't get all the actual bonuses you can get right now. Now we have a lot of couples that say, well, Lamar, Ronnie, I would love to pray for my spouse, but I just don't know the words to say. Well, guess what? This is what we've done, guys. We've actually created, this is like a, a sticker decal that does not leave any type of adhesive that you can go and you can put it right on your bathroom mirror. So first thing in the morning, when you go in and you wash your face, you brush your teeth, the first thing you see is this prayer that Dr. Tart created specifically for couples to pray over their marriages. Mm. I want you guys to get this. We have so many couples that say, you know, we want a better prayer life, but we just don't know the words to say, right? A prayer decal that you can take and put on your actual mirror so that you can read over it, you can pray over your marriage every single day and never wonder if I'm saying the right words, I don't know if I'm doing this right, you know, I, I feel funny doing it, you don't wanna pray in front of your spouse, right? We want to remove all barriers out of the way for you to have a better marriage, a better prayer life, and you to have a close connection to God through this union that he has blessed you with, right? Total retail value for that, priceless, but you'll get it when you take action now. So again, just go everything. You get to fix my marriage online training system, the BMWK marital guides, um, six months of office hours with Dr. Tart. 15 Secrets of Sexually Satisfied Couples Training. That's a value of 150. Our Couples Prayer Reminder Bracelets. You get two of those. And the Prayer for Our Marriage Decal. All of that total value of $1,510, but you will not pay that. When you get started today, your risk-free investment is only $197, guys. Or you could do four flex payments of just $55, and you get instant access. Again, when you pay the first payment, you get instant access to the course. It is not like, hey, we gotta wait till you get the fourth one in. You will have access today. Now there are two options. The first option is you can get a hold of this package and feel more connected than ever before. Who wants to feel more connected than ever before? Let me see that in the chat. You can enjoy deep conversations again. You can stop fighting and resolve conflict the right way. You can partner in making each other's life dreams come true. Or the second option is you can you know, keep doing what you're doing and continue ignoring one another, even though you vowed to love each other. You can feel like you're on two separate teams, even though you're married. You can avoid each other in your own house and dish out the silent treatment. Feel unsupported by your spouse. Feel trapped in a loveless marriage, right? Guys, we've seen all of these things happen. And we've seen marriages shift because of this system. And we believe in it so much that when you go to fixmymarriagesystem.com forward slash launch, we're going to give you our rock solid 100% satisfaction buy it back guarantee. And that means you can try our system. And if you don't see a transformation in your marriage, we'll refund your money and buy it back. No questions asked. Because this is why we can do it. We know that if you use it, you'll see powerful results in the shift in your marriage. Mm -hmm. Ronnie, do we believe in this thing or do we believe in this thing? We believe it. We stand behind it. We stand behind it. 100% satisfaction. You have nothing. I'm literally telling you, you have nothing to lose. This is how much we know this system works that Dr. Tart has put his life's work into it. Now, the real question you should have to ask yourself is, are you worth the investment? Is your family worth the investment? Is, is your future worth this $197 um, payment or just the getting started with $55 today? Is it worth gambling just a few minutes of your time to check the system out? which if it does even half of what we claim today, it'll pay for itself over and over and over again in your life. So what do you do? Take action now. Go to fixmymarriagesystem.com forward slash launch. Congratulations, Carmen. Carmen said, hey, I have access. Um, Leslie said, can you pay it sooner if you start with four payments? Yes, you can definitely pay it off at any time. I love it. Again, total retail value, $1,510. You will not pay that. Today, you'll only pay just one payment of $197, or you can do the four payments of just $50 five dollars guys all right so everything changes starting today i want you to get started fix my marriage system.com forward slash launch now we are going to go into um q a right we're going to take questions for a little bit so let's see the questions you got questions type them into the actual chat and we will roll with them um let me see let me see somebody see we're all of the second option right get those two options Ronnie. we haven't talked to each other in eight days this is what we found 
you have to do something different. Mm -hmm. You cannot continue to do the same things and expect to get different results. This system works, y'all. I don't know how many times I can say it. We've seen it. You saw the success stories. I'm talking about there's a reason Dr. Tart is on everybody's TV show and everybody's radio show. This guy knows what he's doing. We sought them out to partner together on this because we knew it would be a game changer. And what we also knew is that we ran into too many ministers that didn't have the professional clinical know-how what to do behind them. Right. And they could give you word, but they couldn't give you practical expertise. And then we met too many um, clinical professionals, right? They didn't know how to actually match that up with God's word. And how does that match up with God say, but Dr. Tart is able to do both. Right. And when you, when you talk about like not really being able to move forward or talk to each other for like eight days, that's when you definitely need those techniques, right? Because they actually really, sometimes you, you, you have to follow, you know, a prescription, you have to follow, you know, a process of really getting back to being able to communicate. And when you're not able to, when you're starting conversations and you're, arguing right off the bat because you, you then you start arguing about how you're talking like oh why are you loud why are you this or that um that's when you need those techniques and that's exactly what dr tar is going to do in those seven building blocks he's going to show you how to be be able to talk to each other how to get back connected and also how to manage conflict he takes you through all of the stages starting with building block one which is really getting back connected and being friends again. Cause you can't do anything if you're not friends, you're not connected. And then he told, shows you how to talk to each other. And then he shows you how to manage conflict. So um, he takes you through all of the building blocks. They build upon each other. But if you're not talking for eight days and then when you are talking, you know, you're arguing or whatever, you need the skills, you need the techniques. Yep. Um, I'm gonna take some of these questions real quick. Leslie said, can you pay it sooner if you start with four payments? Like I said, anytime you can just contact us um, you know, and we can actually just pay it in full. You know, it's not a problem at all. Um, uh, just said, how often are the flex payments? Monthly, yeah, they're monthly every 30 days. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be billed for the $55 every 30 days. Um, and then when that's done, guys, you have access forever. So a lot of times people get confused and they say, hey, well, you know, um, you know, well, I still have it. Yeah, you still have ongoing access. So the access to it does not stop. Um, uh, let me see, I have access. Someone says, I can't do it until Friday. Like I said, we actually going to extend this offer for 72, 72 hours. hours yes. 72 hours. That's what it means. We're going to go through until Saturday night. So you have until Saturday night to take a hold of it. What I recommend is that you jump on it right now because a lot of times people say, well, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to check with my spouse and we're going to do it tomorrow. Then they forget and then they come back later and you might be able to get the system, but the bonuses will be gone. Mm -hmm. Or you'll get the system and soon we're actually – I'm about to raise the price on it because we wanted to get to a certain amount of couples so we get all the results we wanted. You guys saw many testimonials we had tonight on the system itself specifically. So then once we hit our kind of um, number, how many couples we want in it, and we got the amount of results we know, then we're going to make it mainstream. We're going to really pump it and promote it out there, and we'll raise the price of it as well. So I want you guys to get access now. Uh, congratulations, the Myers have access. Congratulations to the Myers. Um, uh, Shaman, I don't know if Shaman or Shimon, congratulations, said you, uh, person as well. Carmen has access, congratulations. Um, Charlize said, is this a DVD system? No, this is an online training system, so it's totally online. That means you can access it from your computer. You can access it from your phone or mobile device to get right into it. I'm actually going to share um, on my screen real quick what that looks like. So... Um, you guys should actually be able to see right now. Um, I'm going to share again my screen so you guys can actually see what I got. Okay, there you go. So this is what the actual training looks like when you go into it. So this is the main page. You see here the introduction and all of the actual modules um, and then access to the uh, office hours as well. So it's, for instance, when you come in, you'll, you'll get this. Within five minutes, you'll have access to all of this. You'll see an introduction, highly produced videos. So you'll be able to see and hear Dr. Tart perfectly. And he's on sharing some things about you. There are learning objectives for the system. It's an action plan for you to go to. There are worksheets. We want you to print two copies for each spouse. Um, you can just click to download a worksheet. And then we have the worksheets. Hey, this is the uh, Fix My Marriage System worksheet. Talks about what you'll learn, how to actually view it with the schedule, information about Dr. Tart and his background. Um, and then you see one of these actual worksheets for 
each module. So for example, if we go into module one, maintaining friendship and connection, in this module, it talks about, again, what you'll learn. Here's the action plan. Um, here's the actual module worksheet, because again, each module has its own worksheet. So um, building on God's word is scripture study. So it actually gives you scripture that you can go back and actually study to help prepare you in your heart and your actual marriage, right? Um, he gives you homework. Here's the do the work part. The following assignments are designed to help you make friendship priority with your spouse. It's notes and place for you to actually take notes on your worksheet. In addition to that, you can also take notes in the system. So we can click on there and actually take notes as we're going through different pieces. And we can print them out. We can put them into a Word document. I mean, this thing is high tech, y'all. This is it. When I say we spent a lot of time, this is it. And when each module, we talk about um, building on God's Word. That's like the, scriptural, the scriptures. scriptural mm -hmm. place, right, Ronnie? We talk about doing the work. Right. Those are the exercises. Yes. And then what do we close each one with? Each one, Dr. Todd says a prayer for you in your marriage. So each one, you're going to get those scriptures, you're going to get the work, and you're going to get a prayer for your marriage. So it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. Like mm -hmm. I said, this system right here is hands down the best system on the entire market. No doubt right. about it, y'all. Right. And yeah. at the seven building blocks, again, take you from maintaining friendship all the way through being a power couple and then sustaining it. Um, sustaining that relationship once you become a power couple because it's not enough just to you know be friends and to manage conflict he's going to take you beyond that because I know other systems just tell you how to get into intimate and how to become friends or whatever but we want to take you beyond that we want you to be able to set goals as a couple and to become that power couple whatever that means for you all and then we want you to be able to sustain that and so it takes you it's, it's fully it's really comprehensive and it's the best system out there i love it. you see right here so many guys said you need help with communication this is it if you say you need help with communication this is it right module three improving conversational communication you'll learn how to consistently give and respond to your partner's need for attention the importance of tuning into your partner so well that you can repeat and feel their thoughts feelings and emotions how many of you would love to know and be able to repeat and feel your partner's thoughts, feeling, and emotions, and even more so would love for them to be able to do that with you? Let me see that in the actual chat, right? Mm -hmm. How to practice listening without interruption by tuning in, empathizing, validating your partner's feelings. We have a worksheet for this module. We have um, questions for conversation worksheet. I mean, this thing is everything. This thing is everything, guys. Let me um, jump back over to our slides. All right. Um, let me see. Um, wow, it's a lot of comments coming through. I'm trying to roll through them. Again, clarity to the Myers. Uh, Shimon. Um, Charlize was answered her question. Um, Rona said, we are so true. Uh, Tanya, congratulations. Time reset. We have access. Congratulations. And guys, don't skip the office hours with Dr. Tart. Please make sure you join it. Um, he can't help his stuff. He's going to ask, ask questions. And then when you, people aren't asking questions, he's teaching. He just can't help himself. And so he's pouring into um, your marriages. And for, to, for the next six months, just to ha be able to have him pour into your marriage. Um, and then answer questions. If you're trying something in a system and it's not quite working, bring that to the session with Dr. Tart. Yeah. Uh, here's a good one, guys. Um... Uh, Stacey, we haven't been intimate in 10 months. We don't talk. We have mostly shut down. Then said, I'm willing. Can I do this alone? Yes. The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. We have so many um, individuals, like a lot of wives, a few husbands, that like their spouse is just not on board with doing anything to get the help. And what they do is they come here and they get excited, right? And they get on fire. And they get passionate. And then through the office hours and what you learn, Dr. Tart in the office hours even shares strategies sometimes on how you can bring the topics and things you learn up with your spouse. Right. So you like the problem is, I keep saying it, too many of you guys are trying to do this thing alone. Mm -hmm. You are not a marriage specialist. You are not a marriage um, expert, right? If you were, you probably wouldn't be on this training right now. You'd be exhibiting your expertise somewhere else. Right. And my thing is, I would say take the, um, take the training, definitely. You start start to implement some of those tools and techniques within your marriage so that your spouse really can notice the difference and you'll start noticing some changes in your marriage um and then start to you know join the the um office hours with dr tart and ask him questions for other techniques and tips to to, to be able to get your spouse on board because the, the beauty about it is you own the training and you can go through it yourself and when your spouse is ready it's going to be right there so that you can go through it with them again 
So um, that's the beauty about it. Yep. Um, I love it. Let's see. Herbert and I have access. Congratulations. Congratulations. Y'all don't know how excited I, I get am. when I see people say they have access because I know it's going to be a game changer for yes. you. Yes. Lamar and I, have, we've already been through the system and um, it is definitely a game changer for your marriage. Yep. Um, Jessica said, this was a godsend you don't understand. Hey, we are just so blessed and happy you joined us. You took the time to join us tonight and got what you needed. Uh, Leticia said, do we have to pay more money after we pay in full? No, no, it is not ongoing. It's not a membership. So if you pay the one payment of 197 today, that is it. You have access, right? Access, lifetime access to the system. So you always have access to it. There's nothing else you need to do. You are good to go, right? If you can't say, I can't do the 197, I need to break it down. We can do four payments of $55, right? And, but once you get done with those four payments, there's nothing else you need to do. You'll have six months access to the actual office hours calls. Uh, within the next five minutes, like we said, you'll have access to the training and you'll have access to the bonus training. Um, within um, the next two weeks, you'll get access uh, via the mail. We'll actually ship out and you'll receive your bracelets and the actual decal as well. Uh, someone said, is there a way I can get this next Friday? Um, you definitely can, but we just cannot guarantee the actual bonuses. And we can't guarantee the actual pricing because, like I said, we're about to increase the pricing as soon as we hit, like, a threshold. It's an internal number we have because we just needed to launch it. The reason we're doing it so cheap, guys, and we know this is easily $1,500 of value that's worth twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 because it's keeping people's families together. Mm. But the reason we're doing it at this price with so much value is because we just needed people to get in to give us the testimonials and success stories of how it's changed their marriage. So this is what we want you to do. Once this thing transforms your marriage, the only thing we ask for, for giving you $1,300 off today is that you send us an email, you leave a comment in the system, letting us know what this system did for you. That's all that we ask for you. All that we ask for you. Um, someone said, what's the name of the book you mentioned earlier? Maybe it's talking about the five love languages mm -hmm. um, by Dr. Gary Chapman. I think that was it. Awesome. Let's say, man, y'all are awesome. You definitely have covered all bases. Thank you so much. Um, I said, not this Friday, not this Friday, but next year, like I said, if you do it before, um, within the next 72 hours, you are golden. You'll get all of the bonuses, everything you need. Um, like I said, beyond that, we cannot guarantee the bonuses. We cannot guarantee the pricing. You still can definitely get a hold yeah, of the system. system. And the system available. is worth so much more, right? Like, like, think about how much is worth it for you to keep your marriage together. How much did you pay to someone if they say, hey, I guarantee I can make things better in your relationship? What would the money on that be worth to you? I mean, for what we're talking about for this system, a lot of people will spend more on clothes this weekend. They'll spend more on entertainment. It costs more to go see um, your favorite concert or your favorite act performing. But we need you guys to get access to it. Awesome so much. Um, uh, Quintus, I want this. Hey, I would recommend that you get a hold of it now so you get all the bonuses and everything worth it. Awesome. Just said, I'm in. Congratulations. Um, uh, let me see. We got, it's a lot of comments, guys. I'm trying to read through this. Um, Kimberly said, I would love this. Hey, Kimberly, get started with it today. Today. Um, uh, let's see. Are these group sessions? So With Dr. Tart, yes. Yes, yes. So for the monthly office today. hours calls, what happened is um, a few days before, right, um, you'll actually get the reminder that's coming up. You'll get a link to join, and on that call, there'll be other couples on, and you'll get to share. So, you know, you don't, people don't have to see you. So it's not like, hey, you come on, everybody's going to see you. People don't have to see you. Um, if you want to just send a private message to Dr. Tart, everybody doesn't have to see it. If you want to send something public, they can. But like Ronnie said, these calls have been on fire. People are loving them. Dr. Tart's doing some extra. He's supposed to just be answering questions. <clears throat> a lot of times, he's doing extra trainings and teaching on them. So he's just kind of getting off the hook with it. Awesome. Congratulations, Michael. Mike said, I got it. Congratulations. Cynthia, congratulations. Um, easy. how do you convince your spouse to join you? Like I said, in the actual system, these are some of the things that Dr. Tart talks about. He gives you actual solutions and strategies. And on those office hour calls, like this is one of the things that comes up a lot in the office hour calls. Get on the call. That's why Ronnie said you want to make sure you guys are taking advantage of that opportunity to actually speak directly to Dr. Tart. Get on the call. Tell him what's going on in your situation, and he can help you by giving you some actual strategies, right? We've had couples come on, and I've seen couples say, um, you know, Dr. Tart, uh, my husband won't join me. What should I do? My wife won't join me. What should I do? Uh, my husband, 
Um, he's the pastor of a church and I can't get him to do X, Y, and Z. What can I do? And all these different things he can relate to. He's been through all of these scenarios. Stop trying to figure it out on your own, guys. Connect with somebody who has the answer. Right. I mean, so like that, Dr. Tart will definitely give you some different scenarios, especially if you can, um, you're able to, to ask your question and give them a little bit more specifics as to why you think your husband or your spouse may not be joining. Um, and so they'll give uh, different techniques. We've um, given different techniques from, first of all, it's just, just get started yourself. Get started yourself and just share the good news of some of the things that you're learning and doing back with your spouse. So that's the first thing is just be the example yourself. Um, you know, if you went somewhere to a concert or if you went um, somewhere to a great restaurant and you really enjoyed it, you would come back to your spouse and you would be excited about it and you would share it with your spouse. And so that's what we also suggest as well. Go through the system, learn some different things and just be excited about sharing and implementing with your spouse and just um, stay on it and be consistent. Even when you don't get the, the right reaction initially, but stay on it and be consistent and attend the sessions with Dr. Tart. He will give you some tips and some strategies to, to start to uh, see some changes within your marriage. Awesome. Uh, let me see. I've got a few more. Um, uh, somebody said, can you repeat the, repeat the formula from the beginning of the lesson equals freedom? It's communication plus intimacy plus action, action. equals freedom. Mm -hmm. Communication, you got that? Plus intimacy plus action equals freedom. Marsha, congratulations. Marsha, I'm in. Um, Leticia, how do you have access to the six books, the e-books? They're e-books, and they'll come via email. Within the next few minutes as well, you'll get an email link where you can actually download those um, in addition to getting access to the course. And those are awesome, yeah. Um, the Palmers are in. Congratulations. Um, Jack said, we'll definitely do this tomorrow as soon as the money hits the bank. Hey, don't forget. I sent you a message. Send a reminder on your phone. Send yourself an email or something so you don't forget. Oftentimes, we'll do something like this, and then people have all intentions, but they don't remember till a week later, and then they try to reach out, and we cannot honor all of the bonuses and other things that we are doing right now, so make sure you jump on it. Um, I love it. Um, Cindy said, uh, she got in, congratulations, waiting on email. Hey, if you don't see it, check your junk folder. Check your junk or spam folder. If you don't see it there, um, if you use Gmail, check your promotions tab, because sometimes it'll go to your junk spam folder on Gmail, your promotions tab. It'll come from customer service at tylernewmedia.com, and that'll have access to everything to you. Um, awesome. And um, some said, will you show all the things you get? Again, I'll drop the link for you so that you can see everything before we wrap this up. And to get started again, you just go to fixmymarriagesystem.com forward slash launch. Fixmymarriagesystem.com forward slash launch to get started. Um, Ronnie, any last words? No, I'm just excited um, about just the transformation that people are going to see in their marriage. Um, I love the seven building blocks. I really think they're just brilliant. And it takes you from friendship all the way to being a power couple and sustaining that, all of the different phases. And we just wanna take you there. We don't want you just to survive. We want you to thrive. We, want, we don't want you to just be able to communicate. We want you to be friends again. We want you to be intimate, to, to, ha to have sex, right? With, the, with the, um, the extra bonus course that we're given. Um, we want you to have all of that. And so um, that's just what we want for you. That's our, our, our hope for you. And that's what our prayer is for you and your marriages. I love it. I love it. And I see now, well, thank you so very much. I can't wait. And I promised myself, my husband, to take this all in my soul, intensely taking action. Ronnie, love you love that. that. I you love, love that. that word. Right? What's that word? Action. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Intention. Intentional action. Right? Intention. I love it. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, like we promised, we said we're going to give you a free gift for hanging out with us tonight and pouring into your marriage. Ronnie, they're going to get something for communication, I heard. The free communication checklist, improved yep. communication checklist. Yeah, yep. you're going to get the improved communication checklist. It will be delivered to you via email in your inbox in the morning. That is your free gift for joining us. And what I will say, guys, is, hey, when it comes to your marriage, go all out, right? There's no reason for you to stop, no reason for you to quit. I know some of you may feel tired, you may feel worn out, but there's something better in store. You have to go beyond your own knowledge, your own knowing. I know without a shadow of a doubt what we have created will help you because we've seen it help so many others mm. just like you. And if it helped them, it can help you. All you have to do is get started. 
Um, like I said, that's why we made it affordable for right now mm. to get people into it because we want to use you as a success story. Can we use you as a success story? I'm asking you now, right? Yes. Do what your gut's telling you to do. Get started. Don't forget and take action. Don't let anything stop you from the blessing of marriage because I can tell you, I've been on the other side. And now that my life is transformed, I will never let it go back. I will make sure that, like I said, our kids are left with a legacy of love of knowing that, hey, like mom and dad's marriage wasn't perfect, but we know that they loved each mm. other. We know that they didn't just put up with each other. We know that they just didn't sit in the house until we got um, out of the house and on to college. We see them loving each other and they set an example for what marriage is. We want that for you, just like the same way we have it for us. So thank you guys for joining. We love you. We pray for you and your marriages and have a great day.